Runners, welcome to this new program of Fruta de Oro. The object of our video is to show you an international overview to the banana exportation. In this program, I'm going to talk about the strong influence that some countries represent in the banana exporting market. According to the most recent information provided by the International Trade Center TREATME, of the 80.64% world banana exports, Ecuador leads the list of greater participation in 2012, with 21.95%. Our country is followed by Belgium with 13.76%, Colombia with 8.81%, Costa Rica with 8.45%, and Philippines with a 6.94%. Now let's talk about why these countries are so successful in banana exports. The Ecuadorian climate is generally hot and subtropical because of the geography of the country. The Andes, which go through Ecuador, allow the country to have different climate regions. Andean area is very cold, and the coast and Amazon region abound heavy rains. In winter, from December to May, the weather is rainy and warm. In summer, from June to December, it is cold season. Though Ecuador has very different microclimates, depending on their different regions, ideal climate for banana production is the humid tropical weather. This is around 18.5 Celsius approximately. That's the reason why bananas grow doesn't delay. The Association of Banana Exporters of Ecuador puts together 30 national exporting companies, which represent 97.10% of the total fruit shipped by Ecuador to the world. In 2009, the 68% of Ecuadorian banana exportation was made by a number of companies and not by the top three. In Ecuador, 40% of the fruit is sold under contract and 60% is sold on a spot. It means depending on the market demand. The banana activity is subject to two seasons that are known as high and low. High is on the first three months of the year may be extended until month of April. In these months, the production of Central and South America falls. For this reason, the demand is greater than supply, and the prices go up and get well ranked in the market. Low. Because of the high temperatures, development of the indigenous fruit and school breaks, demand falls. Other reasons are the production peak of Central American countries banana production and the overproduction generated by our country. Those are the reasons why in those months low export prices are paid. These prices are placed well below the official price of the boxes, causing huge losses to exporters. Ecuador has increased its export to all markets in the last 20 years and its most important export markets are USA and the UE. Now let's talk in about Belgian Kingdom. According to trade map, 72 countries in the world are recognized as banana exporters. Although there are countries that don't produce fruit but are recognized by exporting large quantities, that is the case of Belgium, which appears as the second largest exporter of banana in the world. This is due to the re export, most of it to the European Union, because the fruit which is destined for European countries. In the coming program, I'm going to talk about more countries that are also very successful in banana exports. So subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Thank you for watching our video. See you next time.